Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzine. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got another mystery beer from Matt over at Massive Beer Reviews. Let's get this open, see what it is. Don't know what this is, obviously. So therein lies the excitement of a mystery beer. But even what colour is it going to be when you pour it? And there you go. <laughs> it's dark. It's a big can of dark beer. What could it be? Oh no. <laughs> Sometimes they're poor decisions, especially late at night as this is. So a beer in the glass, black as night, um, thin head on it, but yeah, like a shiny piece of coal. So let's give it a swell, sniff, check out the aroma. Yeah, okay. I'm getting vanilla, and chocolate, maybe peanut butter even. It's definitely got a Reese's peanut butter cup about it. But mostly, it could be barrel aged, it could be bourbon barrel aged. But I think it's someone straight up kind of imperial stout. I don't think it's a massive imperial stout because I'm not getting any much alcoholic phenols. So maybe it's kind of like around 8, 9. It smells nice. It's really clean. It reminds me of like Evil Twin Beers. I know, I know Matt won't, won't send me Evil Twin Beers, but... Something vanilla about it, maybe. It's not coffee. Chocolate. Chocolate and vanilla, maybe, from the aroma. So let's dive in. Cheers. Thanks, Matt. That's lovely. Excuse me. Yeah, that's lovely. It's got a creme brulee edge to it. It's got a hint of kind of... It's got a, something that is slightly... Milk on cereal. Breakfast cereal kind of like thing. I've got this relatively cool because I put all mall in the free, in the fridge. Because I didn't... Um, I didn't expect to be getting loads of dark beers. I mean, you want, you want your pale beers, um, pale, pale beers cold for sure. And um, that's lovely and soft. Good amount of sweetness. It's, a, it's, got, it's that cream now. It's like double cream. And coffee. Maybe in chocolate and vanilla I'm going with this. So it's relatively simple. I said it's a bit, you're probably a little bit cold. What the fuck's that? It could be a kind of speedway. I don't think it'd be. I don't think it'd send me a kind of speedway. I think it's probably something local. Once again, everything they sent me so far has been uh, New, um, a New Jersey beer. Um, as a Springsteen fan, sorry, Matt. You're an Arsenal fan. Coming. There's a, there's a fucking trade-off. You're an Arsenal fan. I'm a Springsteen fan. <laughs> we'll let we'll let we'll, we'll let fly. Okay, on both on both ends of the spectrum. But it's, it's damn good. It's really good. I'm going chocolate and vanilla imperial stout. I'm actually going to go about 10.3. It drinks lower. I'm going to go about 10.3. I don't think I've ever seen the brewery before. It could be a milk stout. No, it's got too much going on for a bit of milk stout. I think it's a bit bigger than that. But it's hiding the ABV really well if it is. I was kind of hoping this was a good... At this point in the evening, actually, I'm on a chat with a bunch of friends. I was hoping it was going to be a pale, lower ABV one, but then I think I've just ended up with some fucking monstrous beer. Um, I'm, and I think I got a glimpse of what it is, and I cannot believe it. I cannot fucking believe it. If, if it's what I thought I got... Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't think I was miles off. I can't believe I've, I've opened this now, though. Son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Wow. It's great. You son of a bitch. <laughs> you fucking bastard. I see, I didn't think you were gonna send this, Matt. I'm gonna let this warm up, I'm gonna drink this for a while. 9% ABV is PM is 
it's a cow PM Dawn. This I know Matt got this as part of his I can't believe you sent me this buddy. Uh part of his um um this fantasy football league which he won and he got a bunch of this. I cannot believe you sent me this. <laughs> wow. I've had a couple of beers now, I'm a little bit disappointed. I wanted to come in this, this into this um kind of cold I never believe believe he'd send me this. I'm just absolutely fucking staggered. <sighs> it's fucking incredible. And I'm gonna let this one warm up through the night. It's, it's a bit cold. It's it's American serving temperature. If you're in California, it's a bit cold. But I'm gonna let this one warm up. But that's beautiful. It's that really puts to the test the kind of that thing what's in your head. It's how good is it gonna be. If you'd have shown me this can as it is, and I'd have been fucking jizzing my pants all over the place. But it, it's that trepidation of the mystery beer. It's that kind of insecurity of like, am I going to ballsy up? Am I, am I, am I not going to nail it? But I said somebody's, someone's an Imperial Stout. About ten, it's nine. I'm not far off. I was saying, I was saying more chocolate and vanilla, and it's it's coffee. I don't think the coffee's jumping out, but cac it's got cacao. <laughs> so therefore, I think I was pretty close on this. And as if you didn't notice, I'm pretty fucking blown away. So Matt, if you're watching this, I'm sure you are. I cannot believe you sent me this, but I am absolutely fucking over the moon that you sent me it. Um, I dreamt of seeing this beer one day, and you sent me the fancy, uh, like a cheap fucking exciting fancy version of it. Yes, incredible. So that's PM Dawn from Trillium American Stout with cold brew coffee and cacao, the cacao version, nonetheless. Wow, silly, silly beer. Thank you very much. Wow. Rob and Pop scene. See you next time. Cheers.